Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> All right, you guys, let's do a check-in and see what comes up here for January, rest of January. Um, looks like we have a couple weeks left of the month, so we're gonna, let's extend it into the first half of February as well and see what shows up here for you guys. Okay, in love. If you'd like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below to book your reading, okay? You can get a text reading or a phone call reading. So let's get into this, okay? You have water sign, caution, they'll be back, and a confession. Okay, interesting. So let's start, what are you needing to be cautious about here, Virgo? Finding out more information, don't overwork yourself, okay? Or find out, be cautious. That's what I'm hearing, okay. Think before you act, Virgo. That's the big message here. Be cautious and think before you act. Okay. So there may be um, a water sign that you have a connection with, um, a beautiful, friendly, supportive connection with, okay? Or it could be anybody. But it looks like with this Six of Cups, there may be some kind of a reunion with someone or a reconciliation or someone from your past that you need to just... Um, don't get scared. Just prepare. You might need to get a little more information about someone. Now, it could be a sibling. It could be a romantic partner uh, showing up here. But it looks like, like, be careful. Don't, like, don't break your back trying to... Oh, my screensaver keeps popping off. Don't break your back trying to figure out what is going on here. Okay? Because... I do like I just feel like there's something that you need to know first maybe before you reconcile with someone okay Virgo so um, or before you yeah come back into some kind of a union here with someone yeah before you before you connect with someone let's get into this more I keep repeating myself okay oh yeah you have the seven of pentacles so you need to do a thorough check but of course like i said don't overwork yourself but you need to do a thorough check or really think about this thing you need to think about something before you say yes or before you say no regarding if you want to take the time to invest or not okay there's some information you only have a little there's more you need to take a look at about someone. Okay. Wow. Five of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like this is you. Like, is this going to be worth the struggle? Hmm, Virgo. What's going on? Is this worth the struggle? You, you might find something out about someone. And... <clears throat> So, I don't know if you feel like abandoned or left out in the cold by somebody. Or you might feel that way going forward. But I kind of get a sense that there is, a, there is this energy of like, do I want to just keep doing this? Oh my gosh, you have the death card and the tower. Two major arcana. Could have something to do with a Scorpio or Aries, but... Yeah, I don't know. It, sound, it looks like you're on the verge of ending something here. Um, or, or discovering information. About someone that you're close with. Might be a little bit shocking. Some of you might find out that someone from your past long time ago maybe a lover or someone that you're close to you know is no longer here um
that you were hoping to reconnect with or have some kind of you know um maybe a rec like a reunion or reconciliation with here um okay yeah, I feel like that's a very specific message for somebody. I don't feel like that's the whole message. I feel like the overall message here is you trying to decide if you want to have a reunion with someone or reconnect with someone from before. Or if it's because there's this feeling of like, what is the problem? What is the struggle? Does that mean somebody's going to try to reconnect with you between now and like the second week of February, perhaps. But I don't know, Virgo, you are kind of like hesitating, like, do I want to do this or not? Do I want to connect with someone and have that reconciliation? Will it just cause long term struggle or problems? Uh, or a feeling of just not being um, like just hardship in the relationship or is it better for me to let go and just end something here and just cold turkey it that's that tower it feels like a cold turkey it's like a shock it's like you know when you just cold turkey something it's a shock to the system so i feel like before the message is before you do it Make sure that this is really what you need to do for yourself. Not so much want, because you might want to, but you know what I mean? Like it has to be the best thing for you if you're making a decision. And that goes in the reverse. If you're going to decide to have some kind of reunion or reconciliation with somebody here. You know, is it for some of you, is it like, okay, one last time, one last time one last shot for us should i even take it uh, or allow this to happen because you know universe could put it in your path but you still have free will okay so you have the eight of swords yeah so i kind of feel like some of you oh man it's tough you have a tough decision why do you feel like like what it, first of all what is Virgo going to find out that causes this? <laughs> okay, it's very simple. They just said because somebody's just a fool. They just act like a fool. Like the fool can be kind of childish, immature. You know, it's like the ovum. It's immature, scattered. Someone who um, is always like a thrill seeker looking for adventure. Um, not really, you know, they have a, a rucksack there. That's not really someone who is a stay put kind of person. They're always on the move. They're like a wanderer, you know, like a, like a nomad, um, free, their freedom. Well, they, they, they're a freedom seeker. And that could have something to do like where it might not fit what you're seeking or what you want okay so you have to like make this decision you know um if this is the kind of relationship you want to have with this person could be an aquarius um there's like a void you know because it's a zero so there's some type of a void here with this person as well and they they take their risk taker, you know, they don't heed the call. They don't hear, like they might, maybe you've told them in the past, this person that they need to grow up, whoever it is, it doesn't have to be romantic. Like I said, this could be a friend or a person, you might be in this decision making process, you know, where you're, I feel like you are, where it's like, do I want to have this relationship with this person? Or should I just cut it off? You know, um, so I'm not feeling trapped by the mental effects I feel it might have on you. Yeah, Virgo. So it looks like this time period is really evaluating or reevaluating your relationships, especially your past ones. Um, yeah, Virgo. This, this, but you know, the message here is like, be sure before you make this move that you're going to stick with it like stick to your guns 
it really just damages your character if you end the relationship and then go back because you didn't think it through or try to make an, an objective logical practical decision about this rather than emotional one because your emotions will they change on a dime so you know one day you could feel like if you all emotions change on a dime but I feel like if you are reactive to your emotions then you're going to make emotional decisions and you're pretty much a candle in the wind and sure it's easier said than done but you really have to like get in tune identify how you feel about the reason why you're in this decision making mode and try to decide if this is going to not necessarily work for, work out for you emotionally but if this is going to work out for you on a practical level like is there compatibility is there an ability to be you know i mean virgo if you decide you know what i want to travel and i just want to run the world and you know explore every path and i'm totally fine that, that this person's like this and i don't have any expectations um, and I don't have any desires to have them fit in a certain box that I have, you know, or fill, fill that need that I have. Um, I, I'm just carefree. Then, you know, this might be a decision that you're making. Maybe you're changing something within yourself. But I feel like the overall message here is don't do anything until you really think about what your plan is and what you're going to do and that you can commit to it. Okay. As far as this partic particular relationship goes and you know kind of like set the day when I have that talk with someone if you plan to go or stay um, or sever the relationship or not um, prepare yourself for it definitely isn't something to take lightly uh, let me get a couple of numbers for you here and let's see and letters okay we have initial a someone could be 46 years of age and this could be for someone who's born on september 10th and that doesn't mean it's not your reading if that doesn't resonate with you it just means it's more specific and then we have sagittarius showing up here okay so let me just get a charm a for amanda andrew um Aaron I just heard and I just heard this song oh my gosh and they're giving me a for Andy Gibb they just said it's a it's such an old song oh my god I'm dating myself here I just want to be your everything <laughs> I just want to be your everything okay and the charm that you have right now for this particular reading is you have a gun <laughs> so this is about pulling the trigger um, or asking yourself if you're being triggered too much in a particular relationship or you need to fire the first shot um, figuratively not literally please please <laughs> not in this day and age but this is about um, you know off to the races are you gonna do it and if you do you know race horses they tend to stay in their own lane and and you know keep going so What's your decision going to be here, Virgo? What is your decision? Uh, I just want to ask one more thing. How this person, the, whoever they are, feels about Virgo. Okay. So, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, they feel that um, you should stay single. You should maybe date others. All right lots of meaning behind that okay virgo let's go on to the next message. all right virgo you have water sign cancer scorpio pisces so let's take a look and see what's going on with the water sign now you could have cancer scorpio pisces in your chart you could also have a connection to a water sign so let's take a look all right oh so there's a water sign who's extremely anxious having anxiety, nightmares, conflict, mental conflict. It's affecting their heart, their ability to speak, and their ability to think. Okay. Um, this person might have, um, like, 
a mental struggle that affects their ability to speak. Um, maybe um, affects their ability to have compassion or be empathetic or to think clearly. Okay. Oh, here's the five of pentacles here again. Okay. Hmm. So this water sign, it looks like no matter how hard things get, they um, will follow you anywhere. Even through 10 feet of snow, on crutches, out in the cold. This person is like a puppy. Okay. They're like a follower. Let me see. Oh. There you go. I feel like this might be a continuation here. Oh my gosh. They just said this person is, they're stressing about the fact that you might be thinking about um, abandoning them or leaving them. Are they, they're aware they give you some kind of struggle or problem. I do feel like they are trying to take a look at that here. Okay, I'm trying to see like, can, it's, it's more like, are they able to make a change? What can they do about this? Can they make a change? Does, do they even, are they even aware of what, see, I feel like they're, me whatever's going on up in the mental, like the brain, has an effect on their ability to communicate clearly, to be direct, and to communicate from the heart. Because if you see those three swords right there going through the head, the crown chakra, right through the throat, and right through the chest, through the heart area, okay? And all the rest are just all of their anxieties up above. This person's like really trapped. Um, tell Virgo more what's going on with this water sign. Could be you too. You could be having this issue as well, Virgo. As well, like I said, you could be trying to figure out what you're going to do here. You might be stressing about the fact that you need to make a decision. You're contemplating whether the struggle is worth it. And it could be giving you some anxiety. Oh, wow. Huh. I just heard... There might be a communication or a conversation that you have with a queen of swords who will tell you, you know, there's medication for that, whatever you're going through, whatever this person's going through, whether it's holistic or um, commercial. Is that the word I'm trying to find? Deficit holistic, you know, medicinal, whichever, pharmaceutical. Um, you're definitely, I feel like you're going to be able to have some communication and or this person is going to have some communication with someone to give it to them straight. Somebody's going to tell them straight, or you, you might, they might ask you and you might give it to them straight. Like, how can I help you? You know, um, I don't know if there's, if this person, they might have like depression and anxiety. Um, they might have other things going on. Like I'm not a doctor, but the first thing I could think of anything that has an effect, they might be like neuro, um, di diverse, they could have stuff like that going on. Um, they could have like anger issues and stuff like that that they need help with. Um, whether that's like an opportunity to go speak with someone um, or, or you, right? But, you know, and that's only, and that's not for just straight up Virgos. That's for a Virgo that has heavy water in their, in their chart. Okay. If you don't, and you're like predominantly fire and air, then I'm not talking to you here. Okay. I'm talking about a water sign. So I feel like for the most part though, Virgo, um, this person, either you're going to say something or have a communication with them, or they're going to talk to somebody about how to get some help. I just heard how to get some help to be more um, empathetic and giving towards you uh, because maybe they were cold and they weren't, you know, acting that way. Um, not by dis not by choice, but because of um, a lack of capability 
to do something like that, okay? So, I mean, freaking psychological read, man. What's going on here? Let me see. All right, so the King of Wands is here. Wow. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the King of Wands here? <clears throat> oh, Two of Cups. Okay. So there's someone in their life, the fire sign, also, who, um, there's a male and a, a masculine and a feminine in their life that maybe they're friends with, um, that's going to, it feels like give them this good advice. Uh, some kind of good advice about a relationship that they have with you. Oh, and there's even an empress here. Yeah, I feel like Virgo, um, this person is going to be like seeking some kind of advice because they're kind of on the the end here where they, I'm getting this message. They're saying that they feel like they have to fix something or if they don't, then like the ten of swords is going to be the next card to fall out and it's going to be done it's going to something's oh my god right when i said that there it is <laughs> yeah they know that this is this is it, this kind of feels to me like same a little bit like same as the last the reading that i just recently did so um this person knows they're aware that this is it this is like the end here it's coming close to the end wow virgo i mean I don't think you, I feel like we were talking about you in the previous reading there with um, the caution because I really feel like you needed to really get some more information and figure out uh, you're on the brink here of either calling it quits or making a decision to never return um, as well as whether or not you should stay. Like you're kind of like, all right, I need to figure out what's going on here. And they're, uh, I feel like this person is aware of it. Um, so either they're aware of it or that you make them aware in like this time period, January through February. They have some conversations with some people about you, maybe even with a mother figure or discussing about you, how they see you. Virgo obviously sees themselves as just the queen of pentacles, but they, this person sees you as like an empress. They see you as like home to them. Okay. Like when they're with you, um, maybe you're their mother. Maybe this is about, um, you know, a child you have. But when they're with you, they feel the most comforted. They feel at home. Because you are reliant, of course, and stable. And you can take care of yourself. I don't know if this person is capable of taking care of themselves very well. They might have that inability to, they might have help taking care of them. You know, just the daily tasks. Or, um, you know, even like cooking for themselves. or to, You know what I mean? They might have somebody else helping them. Um, this is crazy. This This message is just... It feels very specific, so I won't get offended if some of you are like, no, I, this is not for me. Um, I don't feel like this person is an a-hole. <laughs> I don't. I, I feel like they, maybe they have like uh, mind blindness or an inability to connect in some way. Yeah, look at that. Four of Pentacles, right when I said that, this person has a lot of blocks, a lot of blockages, head, heart, even their feet, uh, inability to move, they struggle. I mean, even still, Virgo, I mean, like, everybody has something, right? So, you know, 
whatever this person has or whatever's going on with them, you know, if they are going to try to find ways to make accommodations to try to make your partnership be better, that's great. Um, but if they're not, you, you know, have to do what's best for you at the end of the day. You know, um, I mean, it's really up to you. What are you willing to, what are you willing to do? Are you willing to stay and help them love you? Are you willing to stay and because you love them so much, like, like it's up to you. What do you want to do? You know, because I do feel like this is kind of like the second portion here. Because I see you, Virgo, as just on your own, being single no attachments yeah no attachments so you're you're good you're good either way um but i think like there's a lot of, what the heck's going on for you virgo just wants to be happy virgo's like i just want to be happy that's just not too much to ask i just want to stay happy it's not even be happy i just want to stay happy and joyous and enjoy my life and have fun and you know do the things that i like to do and be have that playful energy and i want i feel like you're kind of like you know that's leo energy i you know it's vibrant and i feel like you might have some a vibrancy about you and you do best perhaps in warm climate um you you focus on that beach scene <laughs> you know um or being by the water or um some loving had me a blast let me see yeah virgo just wants to be happy and stay happy okay you've got pisces september 8th we have aries here i'm also hearing august 28th you have cancer let me see what oh you have a again and this said november and then when i touched it it flipped to february so there could be someone that you have a connection with whose birthday is in november or february um september 18th someone was born in 1988 i'm okay you have the letter z okay somebody might have an alcohol problem is going to aa um someone is age 30 and i'm also picking up august 30th and then the letter M, someone's name might be, um, I, I, it's, I don't know if it's a name or a nickname, Maz or Mazzy or Mazza. Um, there's also Z, like the Z for um, someone's first name, Zachariah, Zelda. someone uh, there's a connection to zimbabwe as well there's strength i don't know why i pulled that other card but strong leo energy here which is all about the confidence and let me just get you a charm okay so you have oh you have an eagle all right this could have, this is an american symbol so that could be connected to America. Could also be connected to Eagles football. So you know when I call out these charms, this just gives more of a significator that this reading may be resonating or might be more for you specifically. Um, but the Eagle pretty much is a bird that is very versatile um, and is very capable of getting what it is that it wants. You know, it's very strong grip. Some of you might need to let your grip go a little some of you might need to um, strengthen your grip but the eagle soars very high high above the rest and they're just telling me now that whoever this water sign is they view you as someone who is way higher above the rest you are almost practically out of this world to them i don't know how high an eagle can fly but um I mean, you're not like an alien or a spaceship, <laughs> but you're definitely someone that they view as like way above them, like in terms of like who you are and 
um, just they're amazed, just like an amazing eagle. Somebody also might be bald. Somebody might have no hair. All right, so let's move on to the next message. You're gonna have, they'll be back. I'll be next. All right, Virgo, so they will be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Okay, who is Virgo going to be hearing from? Is it going to be this person we've been talking about? Let's see. Okay. Ten of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. I can't even believe. This just keeps showing up. <laughs> so far in three readings. Um, yeah, somebody's definitely going to be returning. Okay. Um, it could be, if there's a court card, it'll definitely show up more specifically, but it could be Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio. You will be receiving a message from somebody after they put down some kind of load that they've been carrying around for quite some time. There's definitely going to be a change, and you will hear from someone. Now, the Page of Cups is a very mild message um, that's very sweet. It could be in the form of a text. It could be an email. Um, could be like a chat that comes in. Let's see. This person. Um, hmm. Why is this eight of pen, uh, seven of pentacles here? Huh. This person comes in with this big they've contemplated themselves it looks like they're coming in with this emperor energy aries they're coming in with this bold take the lead energy hmm well if you listen to the previous reading where i did feel like you know oh 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 and, I, and we had the empress in the previous reading the water sign thing so seeing you as an empress them coming in as an emperor you know, Virgo, I kind of feel like this person's going to come back completely changed. Yes. And there, look, there's the Ace of Cups. Yes. Okay. So, like, changed behavior is what I feel. I feel like this person is not going to change their personality. They are who they are. Um, but the behaviors, um, coming in with this Emperor energy is very much like above board, up front, honest, um, a bit commanding, not demanding, commanding, um, good communicator, uh, someone who is good at delegating, uh, very direct type of a person, but not mean, and also someone who is of very little words, but what they do say is profound of what they do say. Um, so yeah, you're going to be hearing between February, I'm sorry, between now, January, the, I don't even know, today, is it Monday, the 15th, 16th, um, all the way up through like the second week of February, you're going to be here, maybe even on Valentine's Day, could be getting a little heart, all right, three of pentacles fell out in the reverse, so Part of this communication, um, I feel like, is going to be this person, because you know the next reading is confession, so hold on. Um, they may lead up to perhaps telling you, um, I'm actually, let me do them both, because they're just calling me to bring these in now. Someone has, some, has, someone has to tell you something. So they may lead up to telling you and confessing to you what's changed and how they weren't open to learning in the past they were kind of like unteachable maybe they're you know how you, the older you get it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks it might have been that too um but it feels like you know because the three of pentacles in the reverse is a card of someone who's like skipping school <laughs> you know what i mean not going to school they're uh, 
juvenile delinquent or something, then this person may have been a juven like acting like a juvenile delinquent. If you listen to the first reading with caution, you had the fool. So it was someone who was just irresponsible doesn't take heed or warning you know and i feel like this is part of the story that this person it's like wow i decided to grow up i decided to like be an adult in this relationship <laughs> and i want to tell you that i was a juvenile delinquent with you i was not open to learning i was not teachable in other words, I, I struggled with hearing what you had to say. I struggled with empathizing. I couldn't put myself in your shoes. I may have been dismissive when you tried to share how you felt or um, I might have gone cold or just pushed you away. And I've learned through maybe either a mentor or someone that I was talking to, like a fire sign before um, or an air sign, and I've learned that I'm on the brink of losing you if I don't make these little changes. These aren't massive changes. Now listen, if you were dealing with someone that was, and I just feel like Spirit wants you to know, you know, if so, if somebody like dismisses you and isn't hearing you out or doesn't want to sit down and talk about something, you know, that's one thing. But like if someone is physically abusing you or if they are lying and cheating, um, those are big cart item, big ticket items that are non-negotiable. They're just non-negotiable. This is the price. If you can't pay the price, you got to go shop somewhere else. Those types of things, like I'm, I'm saying you don't ever like, you don't, if you pick up a snake that has a cute little scarf on because it looks cute and that makes you think it's okay, no, that snake's gonna bite you because snake's a snake, right? I feel like if someone has messed around or done things continuously and then they're coming back with, I've learned my lesson. Now get the L out, get out of here. Get out of the door, don't even call. No, you had your chance. You don't give chances to people that put hands on you or you don't give chances to people that lie like infidelity um, because that's even a risk to your health you know no 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 that i'm not talking about that if if you're sitting here like oh okay i'll give another chance no that's not what i'm saying um this is someone who you know if you might have asked them you know um can we go so many days without talking i feel very uncomfortable when we go that many days without talking i'd like to hear from you a little bit more and they just dismiss you or you know you give someone a kiss and they pull away you know, and you feel kind of like, oh, you know, off put, you know, like continuous things like that. Or someone just acted like they just didn't want to be in the relationship or they prioritized doing their hobby over spending time with you or talking or trying to, because every relationship, I don't care who, how great relationships are, every relationship needs an inventory check at times. So that's what I'm talking about here. This person, you know, you've asked time and time again. How many times do I have to ask you to put the, seal, so the toilet seat down or up? Whichever for me. Or if you could do this one little thing, right? These are the things that I'm talking about. We're not talking about all that other shit. Um, okay, water sign, queen of cups. Yeah, uh, I feel like this person will tell you like part of that confession is they kept a lid on their feelings and their emotions. But though they do have, um, I feel like they do have the empathy and i feel like they do have the ability to uh, feel but their way to express um it's a little chunky i'm hearing <laughs> it's like chunky peanut butter like ew that's so gross it's not enjoyable we want something smooth things that come out smooth with this person they, they come out perhaps chunky like off-putting or not what you expect someone to say you know like if someone says i love you and the other person's like ditto like okay well that does mean you do but really ditto <laughs> i mean maybe you guys did that i don't know I, and i'm not saying that's right or wrong i'm just trying to give an example of like ditto is kind of cold even though it even though it does mean the same thing and it can be playful it it you know this ain't Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore anymore. So this is, 
yeah this person look here they come with the knight of cups yeah so they're gonna make some effort here definitely um with you and it's not going to be profound because the knight of cups is not profound it's not the lovers it is an action card where its emotions are expressed through action so there is going to be something okay but remember you were still trying to figure out what you wanted to do here from the other readings you were still kind of like uh is it going to be struggle am i am i built for this struggle uh, or, you know i mean i know there's there seems to be a lot of variables and factors and things that you have to figure out for yourself as far as committing goes you know um because i like to think that sometimes people they just want to commit just to commit but they don't even are aware of what they're committing to and then that winds up biting them in the ass later you know um i personally think it's good to try to be as objective as possible but i understand sometimes your emotions get the best of you and you just feel them love feelings or you may feel like oh there's nobody else out there and this person ticks a good bit of my boxes and am i willing to put up with these other boxes that are unticked i feel like this person's going to try to tick some of those other boxes but i hope that you keep your expectations low if you decide that you want to try if not you might just say you know maybe we maybe it's better we just remain friends yeah so you got some stuff going on here for you during this time period but if this runs in through valentine's day which it possibly could um i would say you might hear from this person even around valentine's day which could be um well it's sweet you know it's kind of sweet it may not be enough for you or and for others it might be so let me see is there anything else Virgo needs to know okay yeah they're definitely gonna try to do the right thing here that's libra and energy there um they're definitely gonna try to make things right not perfect but make make things right try at least and they're gonna start with love and try to give you like i don't like i don't i don't know if this is because this queen of cups has this lid on the chalice there which means the emotions are deep within i don't know if this person like i feel like they're going to try to give you what you need not what they need does that make sense which might be all right with you oh look there's the king of cups yeah so you know i don't know what's going on here in this reading but i will honestly tell you that i feel like part of this confession to tell you is that they're aware they've become aware and they don't want to lose this relationship they're going to have to make some tweaks it's not a lot i don't feel like virgos ever really ask for much <laughs> i feel like virgos you know i just don't i feel like virgo is not that person who's you know asks for much because i feel like virgos are very settled they can be and and quite self-sufficient and they're okay they don't usually have great expectations of people either if they're in their logical objective practical mind um not so sure about the emotional side but virgos do have a tendency to want things perfect and i think it's important that you know this perf this person is going to try like i said to make things as right as they possibly can if you want them to but they're not it's not going to be perfect and so if you have an expectation for perfection you're going to be disappointed and that just goes all across the board with people in general because nobody is perfect right so let's get a couple of initials and names and try to see okay we've got the letter b um and the letter o <laughs> bo b o um or just b and the letter o um then there was a 12 so and it flipped to a 10 so we have september 10th september 12th also if somebody is age 53 let's see what else you have here virgo oh see what i was telling you about the snake here's a snake all right um and that that's specific for you guys where i was trying to say that 
if you're dealing with someone who, like I said, um, has has just been, I'm not even talking making tiny mistakes. I mean, it's just been a slithering snake. Uh, no, I, I would not advise to give more chances to that person. You know, sometimes, sometimes people just got to take a loss, you know. I mean, it's like when you get to the playoffs, you didn't get one chance <laughs> out there. So, you know, if you, I was watching these um, old America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, all that. And I was watching, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was the, the really bad auditions. And there were people that were showing up there that weren't prepared, you know. Um, because they didn't really want it that much, I guess, or they had something wrong with them that they th thought they were amazing or gifted, talented singers or whatever. Um, but they would, they would show up and they were just awful. And then of course, you know, the judges are like, no, um, you're not going to pass through. And they would get really upset. Like, I'm the best singer in the world. I've, I've got this and I've got that. And they'd get a real attitude. And sometimes the judges are like, okay, well, if you feel that way, did you do any preparation? Have you had any vocal training? Have you done anything to secure your position to get to the next level here? Well, no, I haven't. I never did that. I just know I'm a good singer. You know, and it's kind of like, I think the point I'm trying to make is... Um, when you're dealing with someone who just comes back around and is like, well, I've learned my lesson, you got to be like, how? What have you done? What actions, what work have you done? What has happened to you? You can't just take people at their word, you know, because, I mean, and, and if you decide to, uh, you'll find out very soon if they're, if they're true to their word or not. But I wouldn't just take anybody at their word after they've um, pulled those major violations against you, against your soul, because I can tell you that the worst thing that can happen to someone is not their physical injury, but their spirit being decimated. You know, when you're, when you lose your spirit in the sense of who you are, you're dying from the inside out. Your body will just follow along later. Because people are generally strong and they can put up a good fight. But when someone attacks your sense of who you are and your spirit and your soul by lying to you and causing you to mistrust yourself, I mean, that's, that's devil energy right there. You know, so that's that snake, slithering snake shedding its skin every time they come back around and tell you that they've changed but they haven't they just they just got new skin you have to see what i'm talking about here because that's not what i'm talking about here with this person this is like you left the toilet seat up i've asked you 20 times it's not worth breaking up over but for some of you it's like these are small tweaky changes that need to be made you know that need to be talked about like i was saying before so i do feel like that energy is good and that's going to start to improve um because i feel like this person i don't know something makes them want to be with you something special about you um like i said you had that eagle in the previous reading you're above high above all the rest you're worthy you're worth it um but if it's if it's if you feel like it's this is that person that's like oh yeah they feel all that way but then they keep doing what they're doing then it's a no don't even entertain the reading don't don't gaslight yourself you don't need to worry about anybody else gaslighting you you need to worry about gaslighting yourself keep it real all right virgo um i'm gonna leave that there for you i hope that that was helpful if not maybe enjoyable so yeah i will see you guys all back here tomorrow don't forget to book a reading with me and also if you see portions of this reading showing up tomorrow as single chapters all that means is that i'm uploading for people that uh, don't want to sit through the entire thing and they just want to catch a quick 15 minute here or there okay new format just adding those videos in shorter formats all right you guys take care and i will see you again tomorrow Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book 
subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.